You know that feeling, right? You ask an AI a simple question and it comes back with this super specific, totally confident answer that is just completely, utterly wrong. It's wild. This weird habit is called hallucination. And honestly, it's one of the biggest reasons it's so hard to fully trust these systems. Okay, so let's look at a real world example from the paper we're digging into today. Get this, when the researcher asked a few top AI models about his own PhD dissertation, they didn't just get it wrong. Oh no, they confidently made up completely different titles, different universities, even different years. And none of them, not a single one was even in the same ballpark as the right answer. So you have to wonder, right? Why are these super powerful, incredibly complex AIs doing this? Is it just some weird bug, a ghost in the machine like people say, or is there something way more fundamental going on here? Well, according to this research, it's not just one single thing. The answer is really a two-part problem. It all starts with how these models are first created, and then it's made worse by how we train them. So here's the kicker. These hallucinations, they're basically born during the model's initial training. But then instead of us fixing them, the very tests we use to see how smart an AI is, they actually reward the model for doing it. It's a crazy loop. So yeah, let's break that down. Okay, part one. Let's talk about where these errors come from in the first place. How do they get baked right into the system from the get-go? It all goes back to something called pre-training. A great way to think about this is like the AI's childhood. It's not sitting in a classroom being taught facts, you know? It's basically just given a library the size of the entire internet and told to read. All it's doing is learning to spot patterns, trying to figure out which words and sentences are most likely to show up together. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. The paper frames the whole problem like a game with two different challenges. First, you have to generate a valid sentence from scratch. That is really, really hard. The other challenge? Just look at a sentence someone else wrote and decide if it's right or wrong. You can see how that's a whole lot easier, right? And this isn't just a hunch either. The researchers actually proved it mathematically. They showed that being good at generating correct text is at least twice as hard as just spotting a mistake in text that's already there. It turns out that creating truth from thin air is just fundamentally way harder than recognizing it. And here's a perfect illustration of where things start to fall apart. For really simple, clear patterns, like spotting a spelling mistake, the models are great. But then you get to something a little harder, like counting the letters in the word deep seek. Some models actually fail this because of how they break words down. And then you get to the nearly impossible stuff. Like, what's someone's birthday if that fact only shows up once in all the trillions of words it's read? There's no pattern to learn from, so getting it right is a total long shot. In fact, the paper makes this incredible statistical point. Imagine that 20% of the facts in its training data, like say the birthdays of famous people, only appear one single time. Well, that means the model is pretty much statistically forced to hallucinate on at least 20% of those facts. It just hasn't seen them enough times to actually learn them. So what does it do? It has to guess. So, okay, we've got these models that are basically built with a tendency to just make stuff up. Now, you'd think the next logical step would be to, you know, train that behavior out of them, right? Well, it turns out it's not quite that simple. And here's the thing. The whole system we've built for testing and ranking AIs, what's called post-training, it's actually set up in a way that makes the problem worse. It actively rewards the exact guessing behavior that we call hallucination. To really get why, the paper uses this perfect analogy. Picture two students about to take a big test. You've got model A, the honest student. If this student isn't sure about an answer, they'll just say, I don't know. Then you've got model B, the strategic guesser. This one always gives an answer, even if it's a total shot in the dark. So let me ask you this. On a typical multiple choice test where you don't get penalized for wrong answers, who do you think gets the better score? It's the guesser, right? Every time. Leaving an answer blank is a guaranteed zero, but taking a guess at least gives you a chance of getting it right. And believe it or not, that is exactly how we're grading our AIs right now. Just look at this breakdown of some of the biggest AI benchmarks out there. GPQA, MMLU Pro, SWE Bench. I mean, look down the list. They're all graded as just right or wrong. There is zero, and I mean zero, credit for admitting you don't know something. So what's the result? Well, we've basically created an entire ecosystem that rewards the guessers. The AIs that end up at the top of all the leaderboards, they're not necessarily the smartest or the most knowledgeable. They're just the best at taking tests. They're always stuck in this test-taking mode, where the only winning move is to always give an answer and sound confident about it. 
So, if the problem is literally baked into the rules of the game, what do we do? How do we fix this? Well, the solution this paper puts forward is actually surprisingly simple. It turns out we don't need some super complex new algorithm or a bigger, fancier model. The solution is way simpler. We just need to change the rules of the test. It's about time we stop grading our AIs like they're cramming for the SATs. And here's how the new system would work. First, you just tell the model the rules of the game right in the prompt. You give it a confidence target. Second, and this is crucial, you penalize wrong answers. All of a sudden, guessing is a risky move. And third, you make I don't know a perfectly safe, neutral answer. It gets you zero points, which, hey, is a lot better than getting negative points for a bad guess. And this is pretty much what it would look like in practice. The instructions are totally clear. Answer only if you're more than 90% sure, because mistakes will cost you nine points, while a correct answer only gets you one point. The AI can do that math. It figures out pretty quickly that it should only speak up if it's really, really sure. And that's the whole point, right? This one simple change completely flips the script. The goal isn't to be the best guesser anymore. The goal is to be the best calibrated reasoner, the model that actually knows what it knows and knows what it doesn't know. So when you boil it all down, here's the big takeaway. These hallucinations, they aren't some weird, mysterious ghost in the machine. They're actually a totally predictable outcome of two things. The statistics that make it hard to learn from rare facts and an incentive system that basically trains AIs to be confident liars. And that leaves us with one last really powerful question to think about. For so long, we've been obsessed with making AIs more accurate. But what if the real breakthrough isn't about accuracy at all? What if it's about grading them for honesty? If we do that, maybe, just maybe, they'll finally learn the three most powerful words anyone can say, I don't know.